All right, happy Friday, everybody. It's June 4th. It's about 5.30 p.m. I'm going to give you a little shock here behind here. Um, <laughs> and then we'll stop and do some talk, and I'll tell you what's going on here. What a day. <coughs> kind of covering all bases today. <laughs> I cut hay this morning after the dew. I planted corn early this afternoon, raking hay now. If I could fit in some baling, I think it'd be a, uh, we'll call it a grand slam, but that can't be done. Not today. Uh, we're going to talk about what the hell I'm doing here. All right, welcome to the South Hill. Uh, this beautiful beast got knocked down this morning directly after a dew. Excuse me, after the dew come off. <coughs> uh, this is definitely for baling on Sunday. All round bales and all four by fives. I don't know if I touched on this on a previous video. I'm just going to repeat it. Um, first things first, what the hell am I doing here? This is my answer. Uh, if you stay tuned to the to the channel, Wednesday I knocked this down. Wednesday evening, we had about an hour and a half plus uh, rainstorm. It's all right, it happens. Last evening. We had about one hour's worth of a, I'm gonna call it a heavy mist, if you can make that make sense. So anyway, this hay that I'm touching up right now has had one hell of a lot of moisture on it. So, I feel it necessary to flip it now. It sat here and baked all day. We had a hay baking day, boy. <clears throat> This is green. In some spots, it's greener than a damn goat turd, and it's wet. Hell, you can you can see some chunks. Doesn't take a keen eye to see it. Well, that's from being down on the ground and all the moisture, and it got beat down by the rain. So I let it sit and bake all day, and then uh, I told myself about noonish. Okay, after chores this evening. I need to go single wind roll this and flip it over with the rotary. Now I do have some doubles out here. You can't help it. Um, but anyway, this is going to make a world of difference because we have another three plus hours, guaranteed three hours of pure sun and you can probably maybe even hear the breeze. Fantastic dry down. So this is a necessity to make fair quality hay that's staying at the farm. I'm going to touch on that too. Oh man, she's been a day. <coughs> I hooked up the 6420 to the uh, New Holland Pro Rotor 3114 rotary rake. 
that got completely cleaned up fully maintenance and serviced uh, I need to I need to prolifically hit the cab yet with a uh, glass cleaner and some armor all but that's all right so yeah actually I guess this is my answer for not having a tether um, what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna take all these single wind rows and double them up not only double them up but flip them for proper more drying with the double wind row rake I hope to be doing that about 11 30 12 12 30 tomorrow and then round bailing all this into four by fives this is all cow chow i guess we need to call it heifer lot chow this is all staying on the farm uh and it's reserved all for feeding the heifer lot i think i stated on an earlier video maybe the last one that I'm not going to kick the heifers out with the cows this year. Uh, with all the corn silage that's left and everything else, and all this hay is going to be reserved for the heifer lot. Now there's still, even with what I'm doing here, there's going to be some questionable bales, especially these double these uh, rows kicked on to another one that I kind of have to do. There's no there's no choice in the matter. Um, those will be fed out first. How do I know what bales those are? I carry an inverted uh, spray paint can with me in the uh, tractor when I round bale. And when I know I'm making a bale that's not suitable or needs to be fed out immediately, Big X gets put on there. So I'm making a small amount of fuss here about quality and everything else and how this is staying on the farm. There's some people in dire, dire need right now around here for hay. Dire need. And this is that time of year where everybody's out scrounging for more before more is made by the producers. Whether it be for horses, uh, some cattle, whatever. Well, I got a handful of people screaming for hay, and they're screaming. Well, they'll get some of that Sunday baling hay, but not this stuff. I will not let go, and I hope some of you, there's some of you that maybe need to listen to this. I will not let go of any hay or sell any hay that has been rained on. Even with a stern warning, maybe even written on paper, be forewarned. You may be in need, but this hay's been rained on. Because all it takes is one person, and it's all right, this is the way the world works, to complain about your product in a small local community. <laughs> well, well, guess what? <laughs> that bale of hay or five bales of hay you might have just made a little bit of money on probably just cost you tens of thousands of dollars. So this stuff staying on the farm, this is going to make some damn good quality hay for my cows in the heifer lot. Uh, the stuff up on the south hill, that's going to be some premium, premium stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, flipping hay. Doing my part and trying to get it dried out a little more. What I'll do after I come out here with the double windrow rake. I'll have no choice but to come out back out here with the rotary rake and touch up these doubles. Woo, that AC feels good. The other reason for making all four by fives on these two fields here is to knock the cobwebs out of my round baler. I'm not going to go heave ho and making big four tight four by sixes. I'm not doing it. <coughs> A little dramatic? Yeah. Well, it makes me feel better. 
Um, let the baler wear in again. Knock the rust off. Uh, s stretching of some sort or another. Uh, I'm starting off with all 4x5s. And uh, that's what I'm going to use for the heifer lot. And <clears throat> that's what uh, some of the people that are screaming for hay right now need. So we're kind of living in a, in a perfect world. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, so... That's what I got going here on this Friday early evening, folks. I literally think I got maybe 15 more minutes left, and I'm done here. Um, rest of my evening's reserved for... Uh, I got to clean out the corn planter. I put in the third stage. Not the final one. The third stage of sweet corn got planted today. I had to move the corn planter anyway, so I'm like, you know what? Son of a gun. Per calendar, I was supposed to plant it Monday of this coming week. I put it in. Hell, it took me t it took me six, seven, eight minutes. But uh, I need to clean the planter out. There's a fourth stage. I'll show you it sooner than later. We'll go for a ride some evening. I don't plan on planting it for about another week, week and a half. Um, and we'll talk about that when the time comes. But uh, then I'm going to hook up to the round baler and uh, start dialing that in. Full maintenance job. And, uh, you know, get the, uh, get the monitor hooked up and make sure everything's ready to roll for tomorrow. Perfect world. I might even be able to do some round bailing here before evening chores. And it won't take too long. We'll go from there. That's it, folks. I really need to finish up and keep going. And uh, I look to hopefully be done by 8 p.m. this evening. It's, uh, it's been a good day, but it's been a long day. I'll just admit it, my, 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 my butt's dragging a little bit. It's been an irky-jerky day. Hook up here, do this, hook up there, unhook, do this, take care of this. I had some maintenance issues today. I had some fence issues this morning. Switching the cows over on paddocks. That was enough to make a man uh, a little upset this morning, but all is well. We got a new calf, too. Uh, in fact, I think there's two new ones out there now. But I need to check on that before hitting the bed tonight as well. So, anyway, happy Friday to you. Um, you're going to see some good videos tomorrow. Double wind row raking. Fingers crossed, some round bailing. And we'll, uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, I got a couple hours yet, and I'm probably going to suck the bottom out of a beer can. <laughs> We're going to talk to you sooner than later.